It's neurologically impossible to get somebody to remember something they didn't notice in the first place. Once you watch a number of videos, it's clear that the teachers who are struggling are struggling because they're not noticing things that are going on in the classroom. It's not because they're willfully ignoring things, it's because they're not noticing things. Westwood Forward Project is a three-year uh, impact evaluation of uh, video technology and classroom observations. We want to know, does video technology make classroom observations better? Does it make it more cost-efficient, more meaningful for teachers, easier for administrators to do in a busy work day? Uh, we want to know, do ultimately the students of these teachers grow more than teachers who are going through in-person classroom observations. Principals are sort of newly given this responsibility of evaluating every single teacher multiple times a year. So in some of our districts, they're required to be in every teacher's classroom six times. If you have a staff of 100 teachers, that's an enormous burden on an already busy school day when you're responsible for so many other things. What video allows principals to do is watch lessons at more convenient times of the day. Just showing them your written notes from a classroom observation is just not going to be an effective way to get people to recognize things that they should be noticing. I think there's a strong role for video in, in observations and in this reflective practice. I think the key aspects that a lot of teachers are trying to capture is how engaged are my students who are really trying to find a way to look at them. When they're actually in the moment, it can be hard to gauge what every student in the classroom is doing. I also hear a strong desire to use it as a team tool. Most professions use video in some capacity, whether it's a medical team that uses it in the form of uh, medical rounds and kind of reviewing practices that happen during a surgery or working with a patient. Um, to professional athletes, whether it's that reflective practice of, oh, I'm keeping my elbow too, up too high as I'm doing my wind up or whatever it is. Just looking back at yourself and trying to find ways that you can continue to grow and be the best professional you can be. One of the reasons why we're so excited about the Best Foot Forward Project is it's obvious that you need to change teaching if you want to change student outcome. Video can allow you to do that.